I'm still trapped in a glass case of emotion, Whitlock. <laughs> but was it good for me to poke fun at myself? I thought it was great. I, I think the way Odell Beckham Jr. handled himself this week was a step in the right direction. Yep. I think that the lighthearted thing he did here, some self-awareness mocking himself. I, a, a buddy of mine is on the coaching staff in New York, swore to me this weekend, Jay, you would love this kid. He's a great young person. And I think this is all a step in the right direction. We talked about this last week on the show. I always, I feel like Beckham is Randy Moss. Sometimes he goes a little sideways, but I always felt Randy, right environment. Whew, now he's a broadcaster here in our former employer. Beckham, like Moss, has self-awareness, emotional player. I never felt that with T.O. I never felt it with Rodman. I thought Rodman and T.O. wanted to take a deep breath. They couldn't. I mean, T.O. was doing sit-ups in the driveway, news helicopters overhead, doing the star, yelling at people. Beckham's a good kid. There's no history of it. And like Randy Moss, once he sees, wow, this is not playing well, he's a coachable kid. He's a funny kid. He's a kid with self-awareness. I watched that moment last night, and I'm like, that's an all-timer. That, that, that was really understanding. People are making fun of me. Mm -hmm. I look goofy. I got hurt by the net. I'm going to go back on a national TV audience. That's a kid who gets it. Yeah, total agreement, guys. People are coming to the big lead this weekend and saying, Odell's off the hook. Eli Manning, the blame's going to start shifting to him. Watch, that's the big story it this should. week. should.